Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got Spider-Man Away Home, new footage, breakdown, secret Spider-Man spotted. And, um, yeah, if you like so much on my channel, hit the bell with new. You know what I'm saying, man? So, hey, better right through this breakdown, man. And, um, yeah, let's get it. What's going on, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. And today we got a new little trailer from IMAX, and it actually has a lot of new footage and new yeah, dialogue, lot. especially coming from got a lot of new footage. Electro. More than just, you're not going to take this away from me, which is all we've heard him say so far. As you'll see, this is kind of a villain trailer. It says Spider-Man's greatest villains have been unleashed. But one very, very important part of this trailer is that it actually confirmed some leaks that we got a while ago and a lot of people are claiming that there could be another spider-man in this trailer that is not tom holland spider-man a spider-man on the statue of liberty scaffolding has been spotted but when you zoom in it's not too clear is this just tom or could it perhaps be a different i'll do it say tom holland i'll say tom holland too Shit. Spider-Man and could this be another editing mistake by Sony and Marvel but I'll show it to you and let you decide for yourself also Tom Holland Zendaya and Jacob Batalon have done a promotion for Spider Monday which is only a couple of days away uh, and yeah. we're going to talk about if there could be a lot more footage coming on Cyber slash Spider Monday but first thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring the TV shows and, hey, and of course good, Screen good and Library and to keep is my impersonal online you can get into it so check out this IMAX trailer if you haven't yet, and pay very close attention to it. Look at this place, and all the possibilities. Hello, Peter. Do I know you? It's December. They're a danger to our universe. Spider-Man's greatest enemies are unleashed in IMAX. I promise I'll fix this. Spider-Man No Way Home. Experience it in IMAX coming soon. There are a few things that we see here. One is that we see new shots of Jamie Foxx's Electro. We also have new dialogue yeah, yeah, from him. Yeah. So let's start off by talking about that. Jamie Foxx's Electro says, look at this place and all the possibilities. Now, obviously, he is in a new universe. The last time we saw him, he died. At least he seemingly died. Some people argue that he could have been transported or... I think he, I think he transported because he, he Electro. Electro, they don't really... I mean, I don't know if he died, though. Yeah, I don't know if he died, though, man. I think he just got a chance for it. Because he Electro. Electro don't be, unless you got a lot of hell of water type shit. But I don't know if he died, though. But it's like I don't stand, man. Teleported somewhere at the end, but I'm pretty sure he died, especially since one of the trailers says they all die at the hands of Spider-Man. So when he says, look at this place, he's talking about the new universe, the new New York. A New York where the Avengers now exist, or what's left with them, or the new Avengers. A place where Stark industry exists, and we know that he's going to get a Stark reactor somehow. And that could have something oh, yeah, to do with that. what he is wearing. Now, when I said there was an important leak that was confirmed, this is kind of what I was talking about. Because oh, a long time ago, we got a... Yeah, that, that little, yeah, what's it called? Yellow jacket. Yeah, a bunch of leaked pictures of some villains that were believed to be fake, but now it's confirmed that they are real because in those leaked photos, Jamie Foxx was wearing this kind of construction worker uniform. The same exact one we see here where Jamie Foxx's Electro was talking to somebody kind of behind curtains or bars here. I'm betting that it's bars. He's wearing this kind of yellow. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't know where he at, at, where his location. I think he yeah, probably bar though. Some, some way, yeah, or building yellow jacket and it's the same one that we saw in the leaked photos now this means the other leaked photos that we saw of willem dafoe and doc ock were real and this also gives us further evidence that some leaked photos that came out with andrew garfield and toby mcguire are also probably real because so far all of the photos that kind of came out and were leaked around this time have seemed to be proved legitimate there was also a scene with all of the villains inside of all of their cages inside of dr Strange's Sanctum, these photos are yeah, seemingly real as well because once again they showed Jamie Foxx wearing this coat. And now we've seen Doc Ock in one of those prison cells in the Sanctum as well, so yeah. everything's looking to be pretty true here. So for the people who are doubting that Toby and Andrew are in the movie, I get it, but they're so. I still don't believe it, but I mean, you know, y'all believe what y'all want to believe. 
But I still don't believe it though. So no much cap. evidence no now. Cap. And we'll talk about even more in just a bit. But let's talk about a brief new scene with Doc Ock and Peter. Brief new footage of Doc Ock throwing cars at Spider-Man. Now, when the promotional photos from Empire and Entertainment Weekly, when they were all released, of course, they all had pictures of this scene and this famous bridge. Now, for a while, we were wondering what exactly was Peter running away from. And here, I think he is actually saving some of the cars. We can see Doc Ock is throwing cars around, and it's yeah. possible that they could have people inside them or they could be going to hit people. A lot of people were kind of giving the movie crap because they were like, oh spider-man's running away from dog ock he's scared but i definitely don't think that's the issue here i don't think tom <laughs> spider-man is running away i think he's probably nah, trying, he, to, he's save trying to save or people or use the cars in yeah. some way against yeah, dog ock and we get a brief new clip of him kind of wrapping him up in his arms bringing him towards him we've seen this a little bit it's just a slightly bit of extended footage which seems to be what these tv spots are doing and side note for the people saying that they're showing too much they're really only showing hey they ain't showing too much man that's just how Venom, y'all saw T spot on Venom, you know what I mean? Y'all saw T spot on Turner. They ain't showing too much, man. Cause we watch those movies, we ain't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> we watch the movie, so they ain't showing too much, man. Means you got to keep in mind, it's a two and a half hour movie, a little bit over two and a half hours, and all in all, they've probably showed us three minutes and. 30 yeah, I was saying it's like it's two hours though. It's like, they ain't, like like I said, Venom. They show a lot of shit. Guess what? They ain't shit. They ain't squint, bro. We ain't see shit. <laughs> Three watch the movie. Just like Eternals. They ain't showing them, bro. Come on now. Be seconds of... It's, it's called promotion. They gotta show shit. But they ain't gonna show too much. From the movie. And these TV spots just add a slightly bit of new footage each time. So don't worry. They're not yeah, spoiling course. the entire they movie. Show the leaks shit, are man. really what is giving the movie away. But hey, we like to talk about leaks. We have talked about Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man showing up in Spider-Man No Way Home for a very long time and speaking of that there is a very interesting part of this tv spot here that shows a spider-man and i say that very intentionally on the scaffolding on the statue of liberty the movie, now there's been a Tyson. lot of debate online right now on who this spider-man could actually be some people say hey that's toby some people that's say that's, that's andrew Holland. now this really is a blink and you'll miss it type of moment especially if you don't know what you're actually looking for i didn't see any spider-man there the first time either and after looking at it now, it is extremely hard to make out. You still can't really see a clear face, but what I do see is this Spider-Man is holding what looks to be that cube that Doctor Strange had. Now, this is a pretty big giveaway, unfortunately, that this is Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah, because we've actually seen him in this scene on the Statue of Liberty oh, scene yeah. holding the box. This cube that Doctor Strange was seemingly using to send all of the villains back to their own respective universes. This cube is kind of the key to everything here, to sending everybody back to their universes but also keeping our universe kind of stable we've seen the end of the main trailer where dr strange says they're coming through and i can't stop them now what is coming through well it could be other universes it could be other villains we do know that spider-man no way home leads up into multiverse of madness where everything's going to be into madness so the chances that some universes start to collide at the end of spider-man no way home is actually pretty high now could this be another spider-man sure the editing of marvel has been very clever over the years and even though we've seen tom holland spider-man holding that cube that doesn't mean that another spider-man can't be holding the cube as well after mm. all, they're all going to be working together. And we've already seen some pretty clear evidence that the other two Spider-Men are in this movie and have been edited out of some scenes in the trailer. But I still do think that this is probably Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I don't think they'll show the other two Spider-Men before the movie comes out. Yeah, but could him. they be teased, perhaps, in a TV spot or... Hey, it's not gonna show him, man. No cap. If there is a final trailer, yes, yes, they could be teased. In fact, they have already pretty much been teased, especially some of the lines from Doc Ock. So could that happen in a final trailer, a final TV spot? Yeah, it could. And in fact, today, Tom Holland, Jacob Batalon, and Zendaya did a promo for Sony reminding people about Spider Monday and when tickets go on sale that day. Now, they didn't say that any new footage or anything was going to be released, but I'm willing to bet that there is. I mean, we're basically getting a TV spot every day now, every other day. They all include a little bit of new footage. And since mm -hmm. they are actually promoting the day, I'm willing to bet that we get something, maybe a clip on Good Morning America, maybe just a clip on YouTube, a new TV spot, something. And hopefully whatever comes out gives us just a little bit more than we've gotten so far. I would like a tease of the other two Spider-Men. I wouldn't like to see them, but I wouldn't mind seeing 
into shadows or possibly hearing some theme music. And if there is indeed going to be another final trailer, which we are unsure about right now, I wouldn't mind seeing that tease in that final trailer. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this new IMAX trailer spot and let me know which Spider-Man you think that is on the Statue of Liberty there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on the MCU and I'm still doing my Spider-Man collectible giveaway. All you got to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and Cosmic Culture and leave some comments on some recent videos. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf. But, um, yeah, though, man, we see when the movie come out, man, babe. You know what I'm saying? I don't know everybody want to get teased on them. You know, they want to know Tom Gandrew in the movie. Woo, 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 type shit. But, um, yeah, though, man, but that's, that's Tom Holland. Clearly, that's Tom Holland, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all they know. That's the only Spider-Man that we know is in the movie, of course. Tom Holland. But if you don't believe in Toby and in the movie, you know what I'm saying? That's your best bet. Then go ahead and believe it. You know what I mean? Just don't get mad when it, you feel me. Don't see the motherfucker. You know, don't get mad at us. Don't get mad at me. Shit, I ain't tell you. <laughs> they tell you. You feel me? But, um, yeah, though, but hey, let me know what y'all think. Let me know the kind of a loop. Be yeah, I'm out. And, um, yeah, Spider-Man Day. We're gonna keep doing spider Man to feel the movie come out type shit. But, um, yeah, I'm out. I know y'all. Peace.